One very little researched uh, part of the peripheral nervous system is called the enteric nervous system. This is the nerves that, uh, that innovate the digestive system and most of the organs associated with the digestive system. The enteric nervous system is connected to the central nervous system by what's called the vagus nerve. Um, now, ayahuasca, one of the things that we're exploring with the usage of ayahuasca is the connection between both of these nervous systems, potentially these two brains. It's proper to call the enteric system a second brain in a way because it is so rich in neurons and astrocytes similar to the central nervous system. And when ingesting ayahuasca or other teaching plants, the, uh, the DMT component of the plants are converted to a series of different neurotransmitters which operate not only in the central nervous system but also in the peripheral nervous system or otherwise the enteric nervous system. So while we may be perceiving things in the central nervous system in terms of visions and sight and, uh, and phenomena like that, the process starts in the digestive system. The serotonin being produced starts its action in the enteric nervous system and the vagus nerve before it reaches the central nervous system. So part of the exploration that's going on here with this research is understanding how ayahuasca links the two brains. <laughs> In this most recent trip, I've actually uh, had four ayahuasca experiences, two of which happened right here in this very spot, and two of which happened in other locations, of course. Now, the two experiences that I had in this particular location were both what one might describe as a bad trip. Um, my first experience, I was pretty much laying right here on this very ground, uh, purging quite um, uh, violently, I guess. And the second experience, the latest experience, saw a very similar um, physiological reaction as well as some pretty scary visions that were happening, which I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. What was it good or bad? That was so bad. So bad. But it was cosmic. That's what it was like at the Big Bang. Before the Big Bang, yes. Now I'm just sounding ridiculous. Okay. Are we back in reality yet? Yeah. Not yet. Before the Big Bang. That could not be so bad. Oh, for goodness sake, Inga. Your sarcasm. <laughs> is fantastic. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Fucking crazy shit. <laughs> it's the bad. <laughs> so shit's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's going to make the best video ever.
Oh, yes. <laughs> One theory that I've heard uh, to explain why this particular spot has been giving me particularly bad experiences is, as you can see behind me, a great deal of bamboo. Why exactly the various plants around you, why exactly the environment that you're, con you're taking this, uh, this medicine in is going to have such a massive effect on the experience you have, I don't know. But I'm willing to find out by doing more sessions here and in other locations to see if indeed the preponderance of bamboo here is actually going to be having a negative effect on the experiences I have. Ombrezio de la selva, ombrezio de la selva, hermanito tuya ya aquí, hermanito tuya ya aquí. Llévame, llévame dentro, llévame, llévame dentro. Dentro, dentro de la selva, dentro, dentro de la selva.